Welcome to Bombay, a trading post for centuries, gateway to India and one of the jewels of the British Raj. No stranger to commerce and trade, it's a city that has wholeheartedly embraced the new capitalism. A city where even the billboards urge punters to invest. Nowhere is the frenzied energy of Bombay business shown more than here at the Stock Exchange. Brokers pray for luck just to survive as they enter the human maelstrom of the trading floor, now the busiest in the world. This is shared trading as it used to be, where brokers are elevated to the status of cult heroes and regulation spurned. For two hours every day, broker Sunda Iyer is crammed onto the trading floor. Tell us what are all the hand signals, what, what are they for? That means we were buying at 85 and we are selling at 87 and a half, two way court. What's it like though at the moment, out there on the floor, it must be tough, you're getting pushed and shoved, does it get violent at times? Yes, many times when there are uh, uh, very volatile scripts, it does uh, uh, go beyond just pushing and prodding, it goes uh, to deep shouting and uh, even fights, hand fights, sometimes it takes place, but that's all part of the game, yeah, <laughs> it's all part of the game and people do enjoy it at the end of the day. Is it fun? It's very much fun, I must tell you. Believe it or not, today's a quiet day on the exchange. Bombay only trades for two hours every day. That's all the traders can take of this frenzy. And it's not unusual for the brokers to emerge from the floor with ripped shirts or even bleeding from wounds sustained in the melee. It's as if every new share issue is an incitement to violence. But with all those shares, the, the, the highest number of transactions in the world per day, this sort of enthusiasm, this pushing and shoving, do you think it ever gets out of control here? At times, maybe. At times, At times because you know, when everybody is a buyer, right? You know, everybody likes to, you know, grab hold of, you know, a jobber or a market maker and say, give me your shares, right? And even in the uh, bear run, right, when the jobber wants to run away, we'll hold, catch hold of him and say, take some. But brokers still occasionally take time out. The stock exchange broker can just about take anything. A year ago, eight bombs exploded in Bombay, killing 350 and injuring a thousand more, the result of religious violence. One of the bombs exploded at the exchange. But even that could not stop the brokers. The very next working day, the exchange was open for trading as normal. It's not just the brokers and high-flying financiers, though, who make this place tick. Market is how he's going. Yes. Uh, he's going very up and very high. Indians, rich and poor, are mad about the share market. Do you think you'll make a lot of money? Ah, uh, yes. I think uh, they'll cross, they'll double their uh, whatever uh, they will list. They will list double their what their issue prices. They are earning. That's why you can see there's a big rush, heavy rush. How long they are? They are standing in a very sunshine. Because they are earning, that's why they are standing. Other... It's actually a miracle that anyone gets anywhere near the exchange on Dalal Street, India's equivalent of Wall Street. For blocks around, every available space is taken over by script wallers, hawkers giving out application forms for new share issues. It's a sort of pavement capitalism as Indians do their darndest to cash in on the action. At a store like this, there are over 50 share issues on offer bearing names like Vesuvius Investments, OK Play India and Phonix. But the market is so active that most share issues are oversubscribed. In the end, only a few punters actually get their hands on the shares. Which are the, the hottest shares do you think at the moment? Today is the Villa Growth Fund Limited. Birla Group is, uh, the, is the hot tip. Is a hot tip because it is promoted by Mr. Aditya Birla. is the owner of the Hindalco. He is today blue chip of the stock exchange. So this is a blue chip for uh, uh, shares? Today. So how quickly could I get my money back if I invested in this? You will take the double money in the three months. Double the money within three months? Uh, if you are allotted the share. 
Even when you've got a prospectus, your battle to get in on the action is not over. The queue at the bank to register your share application snakes around the block several times. Back at the stock exchange, there's a half hour wait just to get into the lifts. It's not capitalism out of control? No, not yet. Not yet. It is a true capitalism, I would say rather. Why that? Why do you say that? Because you can imagine per month we are getting about 70 additional listings. That means about little over three companies per day. And that's the growth. So that is a true capitalism, isn't it? But by two o'clock, it's all over. The brokers retreat to their offices to process the paperwork that their frenzied activity has just produced. And the ring is prepared for yet another day's trading on the world's busiest and maddest stock exchange.